Hey guys, welcome back. So, I figured for this video, um, lovely Monday, love it, yes. We are going to talk about my extensive shoe collection. Because everyone knows I love shoes and I have a lot of them. Um, the ones I have the most of are actually Converse, so today we're going to go over like the Converse I have, and then we're going to go over some facts about Converse, and yeah. So I'll show you all the ones I have first, and then we'll go over the facts, and we'll just talk about, you know, how much most of them cost, I guess. I don't know. I'll see if I can find that. I, um, I like Converse a lot. Well, let's talk about how much I love them. Okay, so my first pair, I got these last Christmas. They, uh, my mom gave them to me for Christmas. They have this, I don't know if you can see in there, but they have this like pad and it makes them softer. Like not as hard as your feet. Um, yeah, no, I love these. I really like high tops more than low tops, which is why I only have one pair of low top Converse. Fun fact. Um, yeah, so I have these. And I have these orange ones. I've had these for a while. Um, they're kind of dirty. I wear these actually quite a bit. I wear these in my, the next ones, a lot. Um, no, I really, really like these. I like the, like, tannish, beige-ish kind of shoestring that came with the shoe. I did not put these strings in. So, Converse, you're doing a good job deciding what shoelaces go in. Um, these ones I wear literally all the time, every outfit, all the time. Love them. Love yellow. Those of you who know me, I played basketball in seventh grade and I had these bright ass yellow basketball shoes. Call me Sunshine Shoes. What's up? What's good? Bringing back memories. Um, no, I love these ones. They're the only low tops I own, which is really, really weird because I don't usually like high shoes, but Converse, I love them. Um, then I have this pair of purple, love, love purple. I actually really, really like this shade of purple too. Um, as you can see by how freaking clean they are, I don't wear them much. I don't know why, I just don't. There's not very many outfits that purple shoes go with. And you guys saw these in Friday's video. They are the high top, kind of dark gray, plastic, first ever Converse that I bought myself. Um, actually, first pair I ever owned. Actually, yeah, I, these were the first pair I ever owned. Memory. Um, that just goes to show how good Converse shoes are because I usually go through shoes fast. Um, and then here's another pair. They got this like, I don't know what this shape is called. I went out of school for a while. It's got some shapes. Um, and there's stripes here, and it's just really, really cute. Yeah. No, I love these, because they're colorful. I did used to wear these a lot, but I just haven't in a long time. I don't know why. Whatever. Um, all right, so now we can go on to some Converse facts that I looked up. Um, they were originally athletic shoes. Um, the Converse All-Star, which I just showed you in 1917, was an athletics, ooh, athletic sneaker. Um, most of the NBAs in the 40s supported the Chuck Taylors. Um, Converse previously made rain boots. The company started in 1908 as a rubber shoe company that produced galoshes. Um, the all-star design hasn't changed since 1917, and if it has, it's been very minor things. Um, Chuck Taylor, where it got its name from, was a basketball player. Um, he sold a whole bunch of shoes, but he was a pretty shitty coach. Um, Converse didn't actually, and cause like, um, a lot of their shoes are seen as like punk shoes, like 
you know, stuff like that. Um, they didn't intend for that, so you guys are ruining it. Uh, wow, that's crazy. Uh, it says that the company owns a recording studio. Uh, oh, they make rubber tracks. Oh, no, the company's called Rubber Tracks. Oh, my God. What are they? Um, Chucks were initially only high tops. I knew there was a reason I only had their high tops. No, um, they were supposed to be only high tops. Love it. Um, they love it. Love it. Love it. I love high tops. Um, whoa, okay. Rocky ran in them. If you look closely at the training montage from Rocky, you'll see him wearing them. Uh, Wiz Khalifa also loves them. <laughs> so, go Wiz. Um, let's see if we can find any more facts, just real quick. Um, those are also taken from msn.com. It's 11 classic facts about Converse. Just so they don't copyright me or say that I stole their shit. Uh, God, this computer being slow today. Boop, boop. Uh, oh, God. I also love it when ads pop up out of nowhere. Okay, a pair of the stars. Here's a pair of the stars and bars pair made for the 75th anniversary, and they are in the Smithsonian. Those are actually really cute. I would buy those. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, wow. In 1997, it says 550 million pairs of Converse All-Stars were made. Yeah, that's a lot of shoes. Holy crap. All right. So... Oh, ooh, this is sad. The USA lost their first Olympic basketball game wearing Converse Chuck Taylors. So. Um, thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video about Converse, and I hope you go out and buy Converse if you don't have them. Um, this video is not sponsored, by the way. Converse is not sponsoring this video. I'm just going to be looking at my shoe collection, I'm going to be going through them and talking about them and their brands and everything. So yeah, not sponsored, wish it was, love Converse. Um, I did not know these facts before I looked them up, so I'm glad I looked them up with you guys. Um, yeah, so make sure you tell me what you think, if you like that kind of video. If not, I probably won't do any more, but if you do, I'd love to do them. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, have a friend share with their friends, and share with their friends. Um, spread this shit everywhere. We love it. Love subscribers. Um, yeah, thank you guys already for all the support you've given me. I will see you Wednesday.